Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, now we will see how to import columns from etabs into CSI column version 10. This one we have already designed in previous tutorial. You can see this tutorial in my channel. All structural element design using etabs. So from this file we will import columns with analysis result into CSI column version 10. We will open the program. Import etabs. Click on this. In the first run, it will ask to select the version of etabs through which you want to import the columns. Here first I have selected etabs version 19 from C drive from here. It will ask to select etabs exe file as I have already selected etabs version 19 so it is not asking to select the etabs exe file now directly it is asking to select etabs model so we will go to that folder where we have kept this file this one open select all ok See that model view opened. From here, we have to select the column to import into CSI column version 10. We can use filter option here. We will get all the defined column sections according to the size we have selected in ETABS file. Here, first we can select this one. Here, we can choose all stories or we can select bottom stories for example from base plain beam to first floor to reduce the execution time i am selecting column up to first floor click on add then select second column select stories up to first floor add then this one select history up to first floor add and last one base pb up to first floor add now close now import here importing columns all the columns with result imported from here we can select the columns c3 first floor shape this one here we can add confinement from here rectangle manually or we can use this option auto confinement like this as already these columns have been analyzed in etabs so we can see result directly if it is not analyzed we can go for auto design using this option okay go to result we can see the section stress this one interaction diagram this is 3d view here interaction curve load moment we can go to animate interaction we can go for animate clicking on this option see for 0 degree now for 15 degree 30 degree of rotation of column 45 60 90 all the angles it will show accordingly the curve generated in 3d view it will be shown to understand the development of curve very easily
this direction m3 this direction m2 this direction pu that means ultimate axial load so this is very unique feature added in csi column version 10 to understand the pmm curve we can get capacity point details bar stress concrete strain bar strain like this here see 15 degree angle 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree then we can see multiple curves here in this graph horizontal direction moment in vertical direction axial load plotted now from the material strength we can get the axial load and moment capacity curve pm curve for 20 mpa concrete strength the capacity curve is like this for 30 mpa the curve is like this and for 40 mpa curve is like this if we want to see more curve we can see for example here 50 and here 5 refresh it will show load and moment capacity curve from 20 to 50 for 42.5 mpa the capacity moment capacity moment capacity of the column is more than 200 kilo newton meter and axial load capacity around 2600 or 700 like this from this multiple curve option we can decide how much strength should be selected for our column section size now we can see design loads from here the load combination imported from ETABS capacity ratio demand capacity ratio this simple report generating report imported column 46 for 46 columns the report is generating here the column design report generated we can export it to pdf format save the file save we can see another column at plain beam level this one we can see result loading capacity here it is showing the framing plan and all the direction it is showing the framing plan and the loading capacity in all the direction here decon loading capacity loading only capacity only so it is showing the column capacity in all direction loading less than the capacity loading plus capacity so capacity is more than the loading acting on this column and another thing we can do we can go to draw option and we can export this section dxf format we can import that dxf format into autocad file this one open see here the section exported into dxf format so in this way we can import columns from etabs file then we can do the detailed analysis press the bell icon on the youtube app and never miss another update